Good morning. My name is Sunny Savage and it is day two of the Eat Local Maui Challenge where we are encouraging folks to include as many locally grown and raised uh, items as possible. So I'm actually out foraging with my kids and we found some Rubus nivius. These are hill raspberries or uh, Mysore raspberries and they're absolutely delicious. It's totally the end of the season, but um, we found a few to include into our breakfast. Hopefully get a picture. So here I found a patch of Rubus rosifolius, the thimbleberries, and I think I spy with my little eye gorgeous one right over there. These are so delicious and they really grow at low elevations all the way up into higher elevations. Here's some darling self heal. You can see it's a mint family. And opposite these, a square stem and those flowers. We're just gonna harvest a few for our breakfast. Here we've got some banana polka. gonna have a fruit salad for breakfast and got some papaya that we grew at home we foraged these um, sweet little self heal prunella vulgaris um, flowers that we're just gonna include in the garnish we got some red clover that we found and some um, banana polka and some poha berries and some hill raspberries and we found some um, oh hello berries and some thimble berry and I foraged um, from a tree this um, pineapple guava, feijoa, and a friend gifted the, um, the dragon fruit. And we got a local watermelon and some Jamaican lilicoys. So yeah, let's see how this comes together. And we actually also added some yacon and some honey on top that was infused in elecampane that I grew. Yeah, time to eat. Yeah, just keep harvesting these gorgeous cat's ear greens. Hypocaris radiata. This is another one. They kind of play peekaboo in the grass. And they can grow upright like this. Or if they're in lawns, they tend to grow flat to the ground. They adapt to having being hit by the lawnmower. bitter wild green. Hey, so I harvested those cat's ear greens and uh, I'm going to cook up some of the uh, mushrooms, uh, the slippery jack mushrooms, which I wouldn't consider a choice edible by any means, um, but I'm going to be mixing them with some ali'i mushrooms. Um, these have a lot of really great body and texture and flavor to them, uh, along with some Maui onion and some uh, elephant garlic and I'm gonna have that with some ribs that um, I I basically took a bunch of salt and then I put um, in my mortar and pestle some allspice and some of the pink peppercorns not a true pink peppercorn and not the Brazilian pepper tree or the Christmas berry that we call here um, these are actually the Shinus Mole, and it's a tree that kind of looks like a weeping willow if you're familiar with that tree, um, and have these pink peppercorny kind of things hanging. And so that, along with the allspice and some coriander seeds, um, ground up, and then right at the end, after it's cooked um, a little time with the rub on, I've been just kind of brushing some honey and olive oil on them just to, um, we'll see how it goes so yeah i'm gonna give you a little tutorial on the uh, mushrooms now um, 
because they're a bit tricky on how to process them out. All right, so here are the mushrooms, and I didn't take too many because I just, you know, always really abide by that foraging principle of not taking more than you're going to use. Um, what we're going to end up with is like this slab of mushroom. Of course, I have a little bit to clean up right there, but I don't know if the color contrast is going to really work, but it's kind of a neon yellow. And this is what's left on the inside after you take and break the stem off and then peel away all of this. Just being careful, going slowly, being mindful of your treasure here. <sighs> Yeah, they really like to grow in those acidic soils underneath the pine trees. So we get them here on Maui, but they are also found on Hawaii Island as well as Kauai. Um, those three islands kind of have that needed elevation as well as uh, plantings of pines that were put in. Who knows if it was good or bad, but they were put there. Um, Okay, so I got the underneath, I um, broke off the stem, peeled away those, um, those pores, and then I'm just literally pulling up and taking off the top layer. And that just goes in the compost. Yeah. There we go. And that's what I'm left with right there. Um, you know, I'll clean up, of course, some of these little pukas where the, um, the slugs got in. The wild boar also will, um, you'll see them chewed sometimes by the boar or, um, you know, the wild pig. But um, yeah, that's it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and chop these up and saute them a little bit. And that's your sweetest, your um, slippery jack mushrooms. And yeah, I wanted to cook for a little while. Um, so I added some of the slippery jacks and I'm just going to add the rest of them now. And I will um, let these cook for just a little bit longer. I might even um, throw the lid on top just to kind of keep some moisture in. And then I'll go ahead and add some garlic and some salt and then add these back in at the end. 